Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing another tech review. <laughs> okay, I think it wore off. I think we're good. I'm sure this has probably happened to uh, some, everyone at like one point in their life where you're surfing the internet and you come across this object, right? It's so cool that you just have to buy it. And then you get it and then you realize, wait, I have no use for this thing. Today, for you, in this box, I have something very cool <laughs> that I wish to show you guys, and I'm gonna do a little review on it, because, you know, I'm a tech review channel now. So, let's do an unboxing. Alright, well, let's open this sucker up now. On the box, it says tacticalgear.com. You can just buy the name of the website. Sounds dope. Uh, let's open her up. Inside, we have... <laughs> this little, uh, this little, uh, tactical tic-tac dispenser. <laughs> no, it does look like one, though. However, this is not that. This is something so much cooler. Uh, let's see, what else do we have in the box? Uh, charging cord under tray, as said by the sticker. And it is a, looks like a micro USB charging cable. Alright, so... Just by that, you know this is something electronic. Well, hey, let me, uh, let me, let me show you this thing. So, if you operate this object, all you gotta do is uh, flip this little uh, lever down, and that opens up this thing, and this button that says push, yeah, you push it. And then, <laughs> you, you get this cool little, cool little do doodad. You get this thing. See, doesn't that, that just looks cool already. Okay. I'm gonna show you guys something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something. You ready? All right, you ready? Can you see that? Anyway, that's it's <laughs> So what this is is it's a electronic uh, lighter that uses plasma to light. So it just has these four little like nodes, I guess, and it creates an arc of plasma. To light stuff on fire it's so cool it's like straight out of Star Wars you know literally like it's like little tiny lightsabers like gonna light stuff on fire and melt everything so yeah and it's it's rechargeable so you're not you're, you're saving the planet cuz lighters are bad for the planet this does have some benefits over like a regular lighter. For instance, you can't like blow it out, right? Like <sighs> that made a scary sound. But you can't blow it out. You know what? This is this is just a cooler way of lighting stuff on fire. And it's just you know, it's just worth it really. Like it's the little things in life that really make life good. And this is a little thing that makes my life good. So that's how I justify owning it. Now, I'll be honest, I don't have <laughs> a big reason to light a lot of things on fire. So owning this doesn't really have that, you know, it doesn't really affect my life that much. But I think we should still do some tests of things you could use this for, and if it can you know, operate better than a normal, like, candle lighter. But first, I need a lab coat. Here we are in the national testing facility, known as my backyard. We are going to test the capabilities of this lighter. And we'll see exactly what this thing can accomplish. So we have over here our uh, safety pit uh, where we can light stuff on fire safely uh, should be great let's get at it uh, first off we need some wood uh, oh you know what I just had a great idea keep the rolling I still have all like my school supplies let's see what do we have in here oh we have my calculus Let's, let's go to school. We're back here at the 
National Scientific Testing Facility. We are ready to see what this little uh, trinket can do. So I think let's start with some, uh, let's get some of these unholy documents out. See, what, what subject should we burn first? Physics. Physics? All right, let's get some physics out. I think I wanted to do, make this more pleasurable for me, so I'm gonna crumple these up and put them in like one at a time. I don't know, how do we, let's just, sure, all right. Okay, let's try like under, so it's not getting like blown out. Okay. Frick. So yeah, it's like on fire, but it's not like catching. There's like stuff on like the nodes that it's like. The way it works, because it's crossing at one section, I think because it's so focused, it's not actually like lighting things on fire. It's just heating up a one area really hot. Oh, there we go. Maybe it worked and I'm just stupid. I think we did it. You know, I don't. <laughs> uh. You know, I'm not, actually I am a scientist. I was about to say I'm not a scientist. I am a scientist. And as a scientist, I would say under normal circumstances. Is this myth busted or plausible? You know, <laughs> uh, as a, a scientist, I would have to say this is plausible. So we're, uh, that's plausible. All right. For the next part of the test, we're gonna see if this lighter can light candles so let's try it now as we know we have some issues lighting the fire itself but i think with some proper training and technique you can light anything on fire you ready all right no oh, frick uh yeah i'd say that's a downside about the design just simply because with this and like this, okay, this is like the funnest thing ever to just like flick this open and like play with this at my desk. That's, it's fun. But because of that, you can't get it in. Let's try the big one. Let's see if I can. Oh, this one, I, I... oh, come on. Here, let's try it. It's close. Look how close that is. I'd have to, oh, can I, no. I gotta say, busted. Myth busted. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, so the last two tests, um, the first one passing barely, the second one not passing. Uh, this little uh, device isn't necessarily the best at actually lighting things on fire. So let's try some other things. Uh, for instance, you're at the office and your tripod is in the way, so you have to move that first. Um, but then once your tripod's out of the way, you can sit down at your desk and it's a little windy, so you uh, place this little cool little trinket on there. It's a little paperweight. Now, to officially make this scientific, we have to test the uh, test it in our um, wind tunnel. So let's. Um, Let's uh, see, turn this up to, let's start at one. She going, she's going. Mm. All right. Let's do some angles. Mm. Mm. All right, it's working, it's working. I'd say it's passing so far. Level two. All right, all right, let's get some updrafts. Updrafts, mm. downdrafts. Oh, oh, struggling, but Let's try level three. This could make it or break it. Can't light stuff on fire, can't be a paperweight. What can you do? Uh, all right, well, I would have to conclude that that myth is busted. All right, so for this next test, we're going to see if this little Thingy-ma-digger, thing, thingy, thingy-ma-jigger, 
uh, can be a flamethrower. So, without further ado, let's light stuff on fire. Three, two, one. <laughs> that was pretty dope. It works! Alright, do it again. Wait, I got hairspray on this thing. Wait, I wanna get like, like this way. Two, one. Ah, oh, it didn't work. It's still going. Look, you can see even like all the hairspray gunk is on there. Yeah, make sure you get yeah. that all in focus. Cool. It's, oh my goodness. It's a little sticky, I'm gonna have to clean that off later. All right, so let's do a little more for the viewers at home. As a flamethrower? Confirm. Confirmed, but I feel like if it was just a normal like flame, it wouldn't like do that, like get all over this. So, confirmed. But a normal lighter would still probably do it better. But I would still say... It's confirmed. As we can see, the lighter may not be the best you... This lighter may not be the best lighter you can get. But as far as the cool factor goes... I think it definitely outshines the normal lighter. I'll have a link in the description to... Uh, on Amazon where if you want to buy one that uh, isn't as hard to use then you can do so with that said please leave a like and subscribe for more awesome technology videos and I will I will confirm your myths later <laughs>